Okay, now let's move on to the next one, Freestyle and Snowman. Okay, you probably still have the uh, the robot spy the spider robot up, so we want a new world. File, new world, pick snow, open. And we need a snowman. So I'm going to search the gallery in the window. I'm going to look for a snowman. There's my snowman. I'm going to put him in my scene. And now I'm going to get a ramp. There's my ramp. Let's put him over there. Okay. And I'm done with my scene. So I have a snowman and a ramp. Now, in this, what we want, the scene says create a world using a snow template, add a snowman and a ramp. Write instructions to move the snowman to the base of the ramp, right at the edge. When the snowman reaches the base of the ramp, the snowman should turn around and move far away from the ramp as very quickly and say, yikes! Okay, so the very first thing, remember with every program, the first thing we want to do is we want to add comments. So this is your name, Mr. Yeager. Don't write Mr. Yeager, write your name. Okay, and in a do together, it's always... It's a good thing to do a do in order, a do in order because this way later on you might want to copy it. And it's much easier if it's bundled in a do in order. Alright, click on snowman. Is he he wants to go towards this target. This is his target. Remember in the first video, if you wanted to go towards the door, what's the very first thing you need to do to go towards the door if you're facing the wall? That's right, you need to turn to face the ramp. So snowman, turn to face the ramp. All right, so let's see if he does that. Oh. Yep, he turned to face the ramp. Now, I want him to move all the way to the ramp. So move, snowman move, forward, uh, I don't know how far it is. I'm going to pick one meter. You think one meter is good? Let's check it out. No, he didn't reach it. Okay. Remember, there is a function that will automatically measure the distance from the snowman to the ramp, no matter where the ramp is. And that function is da, 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 distance to. So now we want the snowman distance to ramp. Okay. Let's see if he goes to the ramp. Oops. He went inside. Did you know that distance to measures from the center of the snowman to the center of of the ramp. Huh. You know, this is where that collision avoidance formula is really con going to come in handy. So now we're going to repeat the, the collision avoidance formula. Alright, so right here, a little triangle. So now we're gonna we're gonna measure off half the diameter of the snowman using Alice terms and half the dimension, the correct dimension of the ramp. So we have to decide, is it width, left and right, or is it depth, front and back? Width or depth? Kind of be thinking about that. Is it width or depth? Alright, so we're going to do First, we're going to do math. We're going to do minus. You're going to pick any number because we're going to change it. I'm going to pick one. Now, 
I'm going to do the snowman's, I'm going to do the snowman's depth, because it's his depth. Uh, you know, in this case, the snowman's width and the snowman's depth are identical measurements because he's a round, he's round. And a circle has the same diameter no matter what. So width and depth are the same thing, so, but I'm going to use depth. Snowman's depth. Put that in there. And then right here, I'm going to add, I'm going to add, pick any old number, the ramp's depth. Now both of these, this depth and that depth, need to be divided in two. To go math divided by two. This guy math divided by two. All right. So this is the collision avoidance formula. Notice when I play this, you should go right to the edge of the ramp, right to the edge. Bam. No matter where I put this thing, I can put it over here, put really far away. I could make it ginormous, put it real far away, right, turn it, you know, you want to turn it this way, okay, put it further away, doesn't matter. He's going to turn to face it, and he's going to go halfway. Perfect! Now, the last thing we need to do is we need to have him run away. So, if I were you, here's a suggestion. There's a camera that's looking at your scene. And the camera, see the camera in the object tree? The camera is an object. I would have him, I would drag over, turn to face the camera. Where's the camera? camera. Turn the face of camera and snowman move. Oop. Move forward one meter. And I would do distance to camera. Now, at the same time, he's supposed to say at the same time. Which one of these functions down here makes you do it at the same time? Is it do in order? Is it do together? Or this other stuff we haven't learned yet? It's do together. So let's do a do together. Put that guy in there. And the snowman is going to say, what is he going to say? He's going to say, other. He's going to say, yikes! Right? Now, everything happens in a second. So let's change this duration to two seconds. So you can at least see what's happening. So when I play this, he's going to go to the ramp, he's going to chicken out, he's going to turn the face in, and he goes, yikes, and he runs away. So, what we learned in this is the collision avoidance formula we also emphasize that if you want something to happen at the same time, you use a do together. Also, whenever you have an object, no matter what it is, snowman, Alice, Garfield, and you want him to go to something, you first have to do turn to face. Okay? So that's the second exercise. Hope that helped.